Are you ready for 25 million new family sustaining jobs that benefit Main Street? Hi, I'm Julie Olson, a small business owner from Anchorage, Alaska, and a member of the advisory team for the Coalition for the National Infrastructure Bank. We are asking you to sign a petition to Congress demanding they enact H.R. 3339, the National Infrastructure Bank Act. We'll tell you more about this bank and how it will function. But first, you should know that this new bank will create 25 million new jobs paying family sustaining wages. It will require no federal tax dollars and it will not increase the federal deficit. We need this bank now because the United States is in a grave economic crisis. Our infrastructure is crumbling, our bridges are collapsing, and food prices are surging. The new National Infrastructure Bank will not only provide your community with financing to repair existing infrastructure, it will fund creation of a nationwide system of high-speed railroads invest in huge water projects to protect our coastal areas from flooding, bring water to the parched areas of our nation, and build millions of units of affordable housing. The National Infrastructure Bank will be a permanent institution. It will not go away after a one or a five year congressional appropriation. It will re represent a change in the entire direction of the country. The National Infrastructure Bank is completely bipartisan. Here's a little history for you. Beginning in the 1970s, the US turned away from industry, manufacturing and infrastructure. We shipped our manufacturing overseas to take advantage of cheap labor. Here, you see a graph of the numbers of manufacturing employees over time from 1985 to the present. Meanwhile, the stock market and real estate market bubbles grew spectacularly, and the upper 1% grows richer while most people struggle to get by. Here's a graph showing how the income gains at the top are dwarfing those of the low and middle income households. Now we are paying the price. Our supply chain is a mess, and we see the consequences of outsourcing our manufacturing and our production. Many Americans are wondering how to afford rent or groceries. Younger people, many saddled with debt, have little hope of buying a home or even paying off their student loans. The last crisis of this scope was the 1930s depression. Then a great leader, Franklin Roosevelt, took the helm and steered us to prosperity with his New Deal. How did FDR finance the New Deal? How did he pay for huge projects like the Tennessee Valley Authority that built 15 dams over a seven state region and lifted the entire area out of poverty? How did FDR finance other projects like the Hoover Dam, the Triborough Bridge, the San Francisco Bay Bridge, the Grand Coulee Dam, and over 200 other dams in the midst of the Great Depression? How is it possible to build over 250 new airports? And did you know that during the New Deal, over 3 billion new trees were planted and over 34,000 public works projects were built during the New Deal. The secret to financing this incredible array of projects was the Reconstruction Finance Corporation, known as the RFC. The Reconstruction Finance Corporation lent over $50 billion to build major projects. It was also crucial to winning World War II. When the Reconstruction Finance Corporation was ended, it was in the black. The loans it made were repaid and it even made money for the government. Why can't we do something like this today? The answer is we can. Congress has in front of it HR 3339, the National Infrastructure Bank Act that would create a modern day RFC and enable us to do the kinds of things that were done during the New Deal. FDR has support from many Republicans as well as Democrats. As it was in the 1930s in the New Deal, there's no reason Republicans can't support the NIB. Dozens of legislative bodies and representative organizations have passed resolutions in support of HR 3339, including state legislatures, city councils, county boards, 
and national organizations. We need your support to bring pressure onto Congress to get HR 3339 enacted into law. Please sign our petition. Let's not let another day pass by of sinking into economic decay and collapse without taking action to put this proven solution into motion. Please sign our petition and tell your friends about it. Thank you.